so what is it that keeps people from believing in Jesus? John says it, it's very simple. In fact, he says it's because they love the darkness rather than light. Uh, you know, this is another contrast that, that John likes to do, you know, darkness versus light. Uh, and he uses it over and over in his writing. Um, but I'm sure we all know this quite well, that, that sin has this tendency to gain a foothold in our lives uh, in multiple areas. And if left, uh, gone unattended, uh, you know, it becomes harder to break from it. And uh, I know for myself <laughs> that um, I went to church, I heard the gospel, I heard what the Bible had to teach, uh, I knew that I was living contrary to what it said, but I, <laughs> I tried to put off becoming a Christian for as long as, as I possibly could, um, simply because I didn't want to get rid of sin in my life. Um, I love darkness rather than the light, and I I didn't want to stop sinning. Uh, I I wanted to be in control of my life. I wanted to hold the reins and to guide where I was going. Um, however, uh, as Dietrich Bonhoeffer said, he says when Christ calls a man, um, he bids him come and die. And Nobody wants to hear that. Nobody wants to hear that they have to die to their self. Um, you know, it goes against everything that's inside of us. And, um, you know, I know I, I sure didn't want to hear that. Um, uh, you know, simply because I thought I knew what was best in my life. And that the decisions I was making were the right ones. Um, but the fact is, the more I chose darkness over light, the more I chose sin over God, uh, the more I became enslaved to those things. And not only did it affect my life, but it affected the people around me as well. And I still remember the, the instance when, when I realized that, that sin uh, doesn't only affect me, but it affects others. It was... Um, when I was probably around 17 or 18, um, I wasn't a Christian. I had been going to church for a while. And up until really this point in my life, I didn't have to worry about my actions outside of church because uh, basically no one really ever saw me outside of church. <laughs> Uh, because when I was in, in a youth group at, at that time, uh, most of the kids in it were homeschooled, and they really just weren't into the things I was into. I was a punk, I liked playing music, I liked skateboarding, and basically nobody else liked any of those things. And so uh, I, I never had to worry about coming across anyone that I knew in church, and so I could, I could do what I wanted, and um, it only affected myself. Or so I thought, um, until one day I was at a show, uh, my friend's band was playing, uh, I did what I usually always did during shows was I got wasted, and I, I was drunk, I was going outside to smoke a cigarette, and as I was going, uh, I just sort of looked up, and just, it just seemed like he appeared out of nowhere, it was just a, uh, one of the kids from youth group, and it was, yeah, just really impactful for me, because I knew that he had no idea of the things I was doing. I, I knew that he knew I was drunk because I couldn't walk straight, and I was probably slurring about when I, when I tried to talk to him, but um, I knew that this kid actually kind of looked up to me, uh, because he was... He started 
to get into skateboarding. Uh, he's actually really good now. But <laughs> uh, he, he was getting into skateboarding, and I knew that I had some kind of influence on him. Um, and it was at, at that moment that I, I realized that um, you know, I, yeah, I, I potentially had the power to, to steer him off in the wrong direction. Um, that he was uh, you know, a good kid, and he loved the Lord. Um, and I realized that uh, my actions could steer him away from that. And it, it, it scared me. Because for up until that point, um, you know, like I said, I thought my actions were my own. I thought they didn't affect others. But uh, when, I, you know, when I saw that and I was confronted with it, um, it scared me. And so uh, I think from that moment on, I really started to think, rethink uh, some of the things that I had been hearing in church. And you know, for a fact that that was God working in my, in my life, just even before I was a Christian. <laughs>